In my latest video, I explained how Oppenheimer and Snyder were the first to mathematically predict the existence of black holes. But many of you were confused, asking, but what about Schwarzschild and Einstein? Einstein published his theory of gravity, general relativity, in 1915 during World War One, and six months later, while in the trenches, Schwarzschild solved these equations for a generic sphere of mass that wasn't rotating, like an idealized star. Now, Einstein was delighted that his complex equations had solutions that you could use to explain astrophysical objects, but neither of them made the connection between the two weird singularities in the solutions where you had to divide by zero and the strength of gravity went to infinity to the black holes that we know of today. Now those singularities bothered people for decades until Oppenheimer and Snyder were the first to show that when a star collapses under gravity it shrinks beyond the radius of one of those singularities, the gravitational radius. What today is called the Schwarzschild radius in honor of Schwarzschild or the event horizon. If you want more detail I go into all of this in my public science book A Brief History of Black Holes.